This is basically the GitHub page, which is storing all of the Python code, which full control is. And what full control does, is it really lets you do things simpler by putting in lots of shortcuts so that you can create manufacturing procedures for printers or other things really quick. Compared to normal, um, like STL files and slicing, you can do some really cool, uh, unusual things uh, and really great kind of system calibration and uh, research. So to get started, basically, if you come to this uh, GitHub page for the full control repo, that's got all the, everything in there basically, but what you just need to look at is the interactive tutorials here and the design template. So the interactive tutorials, if you click this link, it'll open up a Colab page, which is basically a remote computer that Google is giving you access to, so you can run code on it. And this Colab page gives you nice links to all the other tutorials. Um, so if I click on one of those, then it's gonna open up. And the first thing to do with one of these tutorials is just run all, and that's basically saying, run every single cell of code in this tutorial. When you click that, this cell starts running and it's gonna take a while because you're first connecting up to the Google service to get connected to one of their computer, then it's downloading uh, full control from GitHub, and then it's installing it. So now that cell's run and the other cells run quickly after it. Uh, and basically each cell of code runs and then everything that it did is stored in memory, ready to be accessed. So I've created a list of steps in this cell, but I can reference that list of steps in subsequent cells because it's still stored in memory. So this one's just showing a very simple example of creating a list of points, turning the extruder on and off, and then quickly um, previewing that as a, a 3D plot. And you can see the little thin line where the nozzle is moving after printing two lines. It moves without printing, does another one. Uh, and the great thing about this notebook is you can change things. So if I change this to be 45 and rerun, then we'll see that the top line is gonna be at a slightly different end point there. And I could do the same with the, with the start of that one. So you can actually play around and see what's going on. You can make it break. So if I put X equals a letter here for G5, that's not allowed. You can see the error uh, and it will give you some kind of uh, hints as to why that's that's not allowed. So, of course, if you do mess things up, then it might ruin the later cells. So I wouldn't advise doing that until you've actually been through them. So if I undo those changes, that's as it was originally. So that's creating my design and previewing it. Then I can set up some things about my printer, um, which is kind of which printer type we're using, what I want the extrusion width and temperatures to be, and then we can actually generate the G-code. So when we do this generation, it's actually saving it. Because this is a, a remote computer, it's saved on the remote computer, and you'll see it in here, my designs. So then you can right-click them and, and download. This is showing a little bit of a, a more advanced method where we're using Python's list comprehension to create lots of points in just one little line of code and then preview it down here and then another one uh, which is kind of relevant to fil filters or tissue engineering with a more random random mesh just as quick quick demos i wouldn't play around with them uh, too much because there's easier ones in other tutorials so back in the contents page after the fast demo i'd go to the overview um and i'll just set that running Then the other ones, after the overview, which sort of briefly introduces you to everything, um, but not in loads of loads of detail, the next ones are about technical use of full control. They go into a lot of detail. Um, so kind of play around with the overview, and then I'd start looking at these as you, as you need them. Geometric functions are a way for basically creating lots of points according to say a circle or a spiral so they're like shortcuts to create designs uh, whereas the the first three the first one is about actually creating design like what you can put in a design that you can tell it to move the printer you can put in things to control the fan or temperatures and stuff and then how that design is outputted as g-code or as a, a visual preview you can control that and all the 
like what printers are allowed and stuff like that is all described in these in these two um, and then there's a few other functions it might be just uh, things again to sh shortcuts or things to help you uh, design stuff but not necessarily purely geometric ones then we've got some uh, design tips which is just my personal experience of designing with Python and with explicit print pass design what I've found useful I've just stuck them all in a tutorial here a couple of examples and then importantly the design template so that, and lab I wouldn't worry about that's kind of experimental stuff so go if you're super interested but uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much for now the design template is really good because it allows you to just kind of start straight away this if we run this it's gonna be a working um, model a working design it's gonna cr have some parameters and then create a design preview it and then generate and download the g-code this one automatically downloads it to your computer rather than saving it on Colab's computer because this is a design a template which is specifically for Google Code Lab. Um, so this is kind of how I'd suggest initially you create designs. As you do more complex ones, you'll certainly uh, go away from this structure. In the overview notebook, first to give a kind of general introduction to the overall overarching concept of full control, which is not specific to 3D printers. It could be for uh, other types of CNC machines or really much broader stuff than that as well. But this has kind of informed the structure of how you design using full control with a view that for now it might not be necessary to have this kind of generality but going forwards as full control evolves it will be along these principles so that's kind of an overview of why we've done things the way we have and then this notebook goes through all the stuff that you have to do to create a design kind of like the um the fast demo one that we showed earlier but just in much more detail so it gives an example and some more detail about what a design is creating steps a couple of tips of how you might use python uh, to create that list of steps in your design and then goes through and shows uh, options for converting it to the um the plot result which is kind of you can take a design you can output it as a plot or output it as g-code some introductions to the power of kind of mathematical design and then yeah as you go through you'll see generally most of the features in full control are kind of uh, shown one thing that's really important is adding annotations sometimes it's you're designing weird things that it's just not convenient to try to show with color coding and you just really need some annotations on your figures so there's a something you can put in your design called a plot annotation which just is really good for communication and debugging, uh, troubleshooting your design and stuff. Then stuff about G-code and it also introduces some of the geometric functions which you can kind of take some geometry and then create an array. It's kind of like CAD um, and the shortcuts to create lots of lists, lots of points really quickly. Finally, it gives a five axis um, example which is basically printing this structure and then varying the angle of the tool head according to the angle of this this wall uh, this is very much a sneak peek demo not fully uh, functional and everything there's a lot of stuff uh, that we've done in research that's just a bit too complicated to stick into an initial version but hopefully that'll be coming in uh, future versions to expand the capabilities that are already here so then back to the github repo it's basically this first page is going to have this readme the interactive tutorial notebooks are right there at the top of it along with the link to the design template for designing in colab so you don't need to install anything if you do want to install it locally then if you go through this readme you can see some how you would do that and just make sure if you run into any problems that you update your versions of python uh, git and pip um, and then there's loads more detail within these sub folders uh, if you go into any of them they'll have a readme inside as well so they'll give you a brief descript description of what's what's in there the full control file is all the python code that does everything basically 
that is described in a fair bit of detail here but it's really not going to be necessary for people unless you're really getting stuck into the, the proper code of it. The docs folder is where all those uh, collab files that I was just talking through are actually stored uh, and the, the link to them is also in here. Finally, in the other relevant one is, is models and in models we've got a couple of examples uh, and also in the collab folder we've got the, the design template. So that's it really. I'd recommend the first time you use full control just using Google Colab so you don't have to install anything and you know everything's uh, working exactly the same way as it works for me uh, and just follow that link to go through each of those notebooks and make sure you play around with them uh, after going through them all go and change some of the settings in each of the code cells to see what happens.